Hey guys, what's going on? What's going on? Ken with Bitcoin Crazy, Bitcoin Crazy channel on YouTube. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Um, I really appreciate it. And if you would, on the little right hand side, you'll see um, a subscribe button in green. Or you can wait to this end of this video and hit the subscribe button that pops up as well. And please visit all our other videos because most of the stuff we talk about, we've talked about in the past. Um, and today's no different. Today we're going to be talking about a little bit of stuff that's going on with hedge funds. Yes, we've talked about it before and we're going to go ahead and talk about it again. This time it's getting super close and um, you really need to know what's going on so you can figure out what's going on with your cash. And um, with that being said, betting against Bitcoin. Hedge funds are targeting price falls. So what does that mean to me and you? It means that... Um, a couple companies are going to start um, listing futures and hedge funds. So hedge funds are rapidly expanding into the crypto market with announcements from CME Group. And guys, a couple weeks ago at least, I talked about the CME Group. Um, and I think that was like three weeks ago that I talked about the CME Group getting ready to list um, their few first futures market. Now the CBOE, the global markets, and NASDAQ are um, evaluating cryptocurrencies into an emergency, emerging asset class. Um, these hedge funds are passively watched and or watching the cryptocurrency system build up over time um, with incentive markers in the price index volatility and steady comparative variations among altcoins and cryptocurrencies. Now, um, that basically is just big wording for the fact that they've been monitoring what is going on in the marketplace. Um, now the high risk ventures will take its chance with Bitcoin future services provided by the aforementioned companies, the Chicago Mercantile Exchange futures market um, and targeting price falls of cryptocurrencies to maximize investment returns. So right now, these companies, both the CME Group, CBOE, and NASDAQ, when they first launch here, are going to be anticipating betting against the market, meaning Bitcoin, to fall, meaning they're believing it's going to fall. So they'll be betting on that. So they'll be jumping in, betting on the down, on the short. So keep an eye on these as we get moving forward. A business professor at the University of Houston, this guy Craig Perone, um, opine that having this instrument that makes it easier to short might keep the Bitcoin price a little closer to reality as future reduce futures reduce the friction of going short more than they do if going long. So it's probably a net bearish market. Um, bearish means um, not moving up. Um, uh, so since its um, creation in 2009, Bitcoin has grown exponentially Early investors who invested in the digital currency have reaped over 50,000 return on investment, guys. Holy moly. I wasn't one of them. Comparatively, investments of the same amount in the S&P 500 stock index with reinvested dividends inclusive would not yield as much, not even close. Um, the gap between the two investments is shockingly outrageous. One of the greatest shorting opportunities ever, declared by um, Lou Kerner, who I don't know who that is, partner of Flight VC. It's the greatest thing to ever happen in, in the history of mankind, he says. The recent volatility in Bitcoin prices has shown um, sporadic increases by a factor of 72%, with a sharp dip of 20% in the month of November after topping $11,000 within a 90, 90 minute window that happened. The price has long recovered and has steadily increased to trading above, um, well, above 12,000. And that's where we sit today, I believe. Um, so, guys, be forewarned that um, all of this is going on. I'll have a link to this article in there. Um, and one thing to remember, I mean, just to put it in perspective, with Bitcoin's um, over 90% surge this year, reactions have been elicited from Wall Street. JP Morgan Chase, CEO Jamie Dimon, once alleged cryptocurrency is a fraud. Um, <laughs> on the other hand, Thomas uh, Lee from um, Fundstrat Global Advisor and hedge fund manager Michael Novaratz have taken the bullish sides as well, predicting more surges in Bitcoin prices um, 
began raising $500 million to drive his investment portfolio in cryptocurrency. So, um, so many people are getting in on this action <coughs> that it's not even, it's not even funny. Uh, Bitcoin uh, billionaire Mark Cuban even says futures contracts are a positive for Bitcoin. Um, so it just, the list goes on and on guys, but I, today's video is basically once again, just to give you a heads up, forewarn you that the markets are going to be opening up here in the next week um, with futures exchange, both on the CBOE and NASDAQ. Um, so guys, be forewarned, watch that Bitcoin wallet of yours closely. And if you see a downtrend, watch my other videos because I've already told you about four different cryptocurrencies that will weather the storm. So go back and look at that. I'll try to attach it to this video at the end so you can click on it right away. But since I've mentioned those, and you can look at the date of the video, take a look at what's happened to the price of those four cryptocurrencies. I believe three of which have skyrocketed. Um, and you would have made boatloads if you jumped in, but they're still climbing. So there's still time. But anyways, Ken with Bitcoin Crazy, Bitcoin Crazy channel on YouTube. Keep an eye on the hedge funds this next week. Have a great day.